Hey everybody, this is Brian, and this is our 12th Visual Basic tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing arrays. So what is an array? Well, an array is multiple objects that have the same name. I know that sounds a little confusing, and I know that looks very confusing. What are we doing here? We're creating a variable as an integer, but no, we're actually creating four of them. But I typed three. Let's find out why. That's how you access an array. Arrays are zero based. And when you create an array, you're giving it the upper bound. So there's actually four, zero, one, two, three, four. And I'll, I'll go ahead and type all this out so you can see what I mean here. Ah, mouse doesn't want to work. And we'll say 200, 300, 400. This is the L bound or lower bound of the array. This is the U bound or upper bound of the array. Arrays are zero based. We gave it the upper bound, three. So there's going to be four positions in this array. Now the reason why I'm using plate is this is how I learned arrays. So you think of an array as a dinner table. The dinner table itself is the array and the the variables inside of that or dinner plates and then you know the value is you know the number of carrots or something they have on the plate so whoever has plate 3 must be very hungry why would you use an array why wouldn't you just make you know four different variables well the reason is very simple once you get into programming you start using massive numbers for example let's say you have 5000 plates well you don't want to write out 5000 variables you'd rather just use an array and you'd say like dim index as integer and we're going to say for index equal L bound plate to U bound plate. Now that looks a little more confusing. You've seen the for loop before. What we're saying is we have a index an integer. The index is also the index within the array. So we're saying for index equals, we're looping here, L bound to U bound. So we're going to go L bound, this one, this one, and then U bound. And then console dot right line. And we're going to say plate index is and we'll say plate and we're going to access that using our index. That should be a little more clear what this does. I apologize for this taking up too much screen real estate here. We're saying we have four items in this array. It's U bound is three. I know that's confusing. Just remember the zero is always plus one. And then we're going to say for each item in that array, starting at the L bound, ending in the U bound, print out the a plate, the position, and then the value. And you access the value using the parentheses and then the index you want to find it at. Let's run this. Whoop, build errors. Let's see what we did here. Hmm, yes. This is the fine art of debugging. We've never gone over debugging, so we should cover it pretty quick here. It says that um, we're missing a parenthesis at the end. And it even shows you what it should look like, but it's off the edge of the screen. But let's go ahead and add parentheses at the end. Hide that. And let's run it and see what happens. Now our project works as expected. You can see plate 0 is 100, plate 1 is 200, plate 2 is 3, plate 3 is 4. That is why you would use an array. Now, I'm running out of time here, but I want to show you what happens if you try to access part of the array that doesn't exist. 
let's say you want to just tack one on here real quick. That won't work. See? Index is out of out of range exemption. Index is out of the bounds of the array. See, we have a lower bound and an upper bound. You gave it an upper bound of three. And you're trying to access something. So you're saying that there's another person at that dinner table that just, quite frankly, doesn't exist. So I know that was a bit confusing. Um, I would actually recommend you rewind this video. Start it from scratch. If you're not typing along, I recommend that you type this out and fully understand it. Arrays are very important. All right. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining, and thank you for watching.